In this video, we are going to solve one of the previous CSIR problem, scientific paper, technical paper related problem, which is given in uh, uh, previous or before previous year. So, find the inverse jet transform of jet power minus 2 log e 1 minus 2 jet inverse. So, here as I told you in jet transforms when you saw logarithms in inverse jet transform you need to get differentiation in jet domain property at that instant itself. So, here we are going to solve this by using differentiation in jet domain we already solved for this. So, in previous class in previous class itself we calculated the inverse jet transform of log e 1 minus a z inverse for this we calculated the inverse jet transform inverse jet transform of log e 1 minus a z inverse is equal to minus a power n by n u of n minus 1 this is the signal to get this transform we calculated in the last class. So, I am going to apply this for this problem. Here I am having log e 1 minus a z inverse. For this inverse jet transform is minus 2 power n by n u of n minus 1. Why? Because in place of a I am having 2. So, that is why I want to replace 2 in place of a 2 power n by n u of n minus 1 this will be inverse jet transform up to log e 1 minus a z inverse. But here another term is there jet power minus 2 into log e 1 minus 2 z inverse is there. So, for that I want to make use of time shifting property always when you are given with logarithms in inverse jet transform you need to get two properties in your mind. One thing is differentiation in jet domain property second thing is time shifting property if x of n if x of n transform is x of z x of n minus 1 is having z transform z power minus 1 into x of z or if you are having n minus m you will get z power minus m into x of z now they given this they given in this form that means we need to find out z power minus 2 into log e 1 minus 2 z inverse for this we need to find out inverse z transform. I am considering this as my x of z and this as my x of n. I am considering like this they given in reverse that is it. I am considering this as x of z and I am considering this as my x of n. They are asking z power minus m into x of z. This is z power minus m. This is x of z. Our considered x of z. Then what is the inverse z transform? Inverse z transform of z power minus m into x of z will be x of n minus m. x of n minus m means so, whatever the place of n is there that we need to replace with n minus m. So, here n minus m means, so if you compare these two in place of m I am having 2, in place of m I am having 2. So, that is why x of n minus 2, you know x of n. So, the signal related to this is x of n minus 2, x of n minus 2 means minus 2 power n minus 2 divided by n minus 2 wherever you are observing n there you just replace n minus 2 n minus 2 minus 1. So, here minus 2 power n minus 2. So, minus 2 power n minus 2 means minus 2 power n into 2 power minus 2 divided by n minus 2 u of n minus 3. So, this is equivalent to 2 power minus 2 means it is 1 by 4, 1 by 4 means 0 0.25. So, minus 0 0.25 into 2 power n divided by n minus 2 into u of n minus 3 will be your signal related to this transform. You can see this is the signal related to this transform. We just use a differentiation in z domain property by that 
in previous class itself we derived that we applied this for this and we are using this as x of n and x of z combination and we are using time shifting property to get this z power so by this we got the signal related to this transform as minus 0.25 into 2 power n by n minus 2 into u of n minus 3 like this way we can get very easy answers to complex questions by using differentiation z domain property and time shifting property stop video